our internet. As I'm sure you remember, a few weeks back I had a sew day with Brenda from Conquering Mount Scrapmore and in the course of that day I managed to complete an entire quilt top. So now my challenge is to try and quilt it quickly and with a nice loose quilting pattern so that it doesn't get all stiff and horrible because I want this to be a cuddle up on the couch in front of the TV type of quilt. I suppose I'd better get on with that then. Some scraps of wide backing left over from the sugary do quilt but I don't think there's quite enough so I'm gonna piece in a few other fabrics and while I'm doing that I might as well piece in the label while I'm at it which means my first step is going to be to make a label I've been trying to be a bit more creative in my labels lately I think this one looks quite cool. And there's the very scrappy piece backing. As well as piecing in the label, I found this rainbow scrap that was left over from an old project. So I decided to try and incorporate that as well. Quilt sandwich is all basted, so it's time to start quilting. I'm deliberately ignoring my first instinct, which is to do some elaborate, dense quilting that will be a lot of fun, but will take me weeks to finish. I want to get this done in a weekend, not over months. And also I want it to have a nice soft drape. So I'm basically going to do dot to dot quilting across the big 10 inch squares. Lots of large curves with just a little bit of detail to add interest and more importantly to make sure there's no big areas that are unquilted. I'm going to stick with the scrappy theme for the binding. I've got this tin with various leftover bits of binding from old projects so I'm just going to pull out a few and sew them together until I've got enough to go around the quilt. And of course the aim is to get this quilt finished fast. So I'm not going to hand stitch the binding, I'm going to machine bind it. Well, I'm quite pleased with how that turned out. Definitely not the best quilt I've ever made or the most technically proficient, but it's cheerful, it's warm, it only took me a couple of weekends to make. That ticks all the boxes to me. And hopefully you've enjoyed watching the process of me making it. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. And I will see you next time. Kakite ano internet.